The title of the video says it all. This is a 35 millimeter projector, 3D printed. Now, as you can tell, it is a uh, little smaller than a standard 35 millimeter projector. And in fact, it's actually scaled down to roughly one eighth, which is approximately down to an eight millimeter projector. Um, not that you could actually play film through this. Um, as you can tell, the detail is painstakingly good. You have projection rails, which are fully detachable. Oops, <laughs> see? Actually really cute. A lot of different uh, parts of the projector actually do function, including the door. Although I, mine is a little loosely printed. And if you could see inside of it, you can see the immense detail of the actual thread path. Um, we also have a lamp house here, of course, lamp table. Um, you got the motors on the front, you even got a little lens that can come out. Cute little lens. Well, in this case, this would have been a lot bigger lens. And you even got a basic back. The projector can even be angled. As you can see here, there's a little screw. So I'm sorry, it's a little hard to get this in focus. And you can adjust the screw to actually angle it, just like the real projector. If you don't know, this is a DP70 projector. And if you've seen my other videos, I've shown you how to use it. And now in this case, we have a miniature replica. This 3D model is not my design. It is my friend Thomas's. There is a link in the description to exactly where you can download all the STL files and make this yourself. I do warn you, it will take quite a bit of time and there is quite a lot of parts that need to be cut apart. Um, and if you have a cheap 3D printer like me, um, you'll definitely have to do a retry on a few of these, but they, are, they come in probably like a dozen different parts, if not more. And yeah, I just wanted to make this little video. So even though you might not be able to fit a several ton DP70 35 70 millimeter projector, but now you can and put it on your desk. Thanks for watching.